this year, the whole world is facing the pandemic crisis. And we are facing this collectively as a world citizen. Amidst this COVID-19 pandemic, the higher education sectors have also getting the impact and we have to greatly change the way we do things and the way we are executing our normal activities. Teaching and learning, for example, has taken a huge change whereby interactions between students and staff has been limited and almost none in some areas. Therefore, the universities are facing these challenges in a different sort of ways and lots of innovations have been created and innovated by universities all around the world in order to face this pandemic. University of Malaya is also facing the same challenges and, and ensuring that our biggest stakeholders, the students, not affected by this. We have done tremendous changes to the way we deliver our knowledge content, the way the pedagogy has been delivered, and the, even the content has been assimilated in order to fulfill the requirements and the needs of the current state of pandemic. The way we do assessment, for example, has changed, where there will be no more face-to-face -face or no more direct assessment in the exam hall, for example. We are now doing it online, apart from the teaching which has been going online for quite a while. From the surveys and studies that we have done, a lot of challenges faced by the students and the staff alike when it comes to doing things online. Therefore, the University of Malaya has taken steps in ensuring that these limitations is addressed by providing the needs of the students and staff, especially related to the data and also hardware and infrastructure required for us to do synchronous and asynchronous teaching and learning activities. Such investment is huge and requiring the university to be prudent and also spending our effort in ensuring the teaching and learning process goes as intended. We also have the university inclusive policy where we ensure that no students are left behind, especially those requiring special needs. And the university has been doing that for quite a while now. And we are very happy to share with all of you that we have been doing very well in that sector. In the whole world, the university is facing the challenges, especially the way we are doing our mobility program and also interactions with the partners all over the world. And we need to revolutionize ourselves, innovate and adapt with the new changes. And these are the things that universities have to do together as a community rather than in silo. We hope that with this program that we're going to have soon, we'll be able to find a better solution for whatever crisis that we are facing now in order for us to ensure that we continuously deliver the best education for our students. Thank you.